With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. To throw right away, here's Montana. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by LeJarrius Sneed, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. Wow, just one snap big partner in the complexion. This game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap in the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On play action, Lawrence. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Another try for Mixon. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to pound it in with Allstock, and he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and the Dolphins will jump out to a 3 nothing lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. Certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. To throw on second and ten. Montana. This one swung out to Williams. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Here's a man who spent seven seasons in a Dolphin uniform, Ricky Williams. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And before this fourth and three play, we're going to get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Montana going for it on fourth. He's got a man. Andre Reed complete. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. 
First and 10 for Montana and company. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So now first and 10 as they crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They will look to throw Montana for the catch made by Johnson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Here's Montana to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown. Tony Gonzalez. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have moved out in front. Extra point try good by Godot. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And wait a minute, did the Jets get it? They did, and the Jets have recovered. Well, they just scored, they got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. Throwing again on second down, Montana. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. To throw is Montana. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. To throw again on second down. Montana, that's caught by Andre Reed. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Montana. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Montana. Again, it's Johnson. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now Montana. That's going to be caught by Gonzalez. He's got a Jets touchdown. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jets are able to strike for six. Montana will throw for it. That's caught. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because 
You know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. They go to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Tackle made there by Haloti Nada. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Play action. It's Lawrence. And going deep for Hill. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Chris McAllister. A little juke. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they go. put a few grass go. stains on that jersey. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. It's complete to Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. That's going to be caught by Gonzalez. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Jets will extend their lead here just before halftime. Gano the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. They find some open field here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Fields it right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it. And yeah, this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already. And we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allow that turnover to hurt. They'll get it inside the 20, and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Gonzalez. They'll look to throw again. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. They're going to look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Two straight sacks have him backed up now for a third and goal. Back to throw here. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. scores and partner we got a game again and we do have one because of what you just described a defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it they knew their offense needed some help they just provided it they're back in this one and they've got it they recovered it but well, hang on now though there's a penalty flag down They'll look to throw here on first down. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and five. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And oh, he caught it up. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So potentially a turning point here in the third quarter as that swings the door back open just a bit. Yeah, they're still down two scores, but I do think we're at that point in the game where you're going to reach for the football whenever possible. You're going to hear the coaches scream from the sidelines. Tackle him. Second guy in, tackle the ball. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go play action now. Lawrence. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Deacon Jones, the Hall of Famer, there on the tackle. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Coming up on second and seven. On play action, Lawrence. 
out to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Mixon. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. They'll try and run with Mixon. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier reception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Lawrence now off the bootleg. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Blitz coming, and down he goes. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 19. Now it's Mixon running right. And some space here. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 106 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Joe Mixon, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he is out of bounds here on the return. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Nixon will try the right side. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Back to Mixon on second down. And they'll get him down right around the 16. 
two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And they'll try and pick it up with Allstott, the fullback. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. They'll run with Mixon. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. I think this girl is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. I know there's some time on the clock, but I still think you keep the extra point there and don't go for two and go for the win in that spot. Yeah, time or no time, why not just take the one and even the score? And then that way, no matter what, <laughs> at least you know what you're dealing with now. It's a whole different strategy. You got to decide whether you're going to onside kick or just try and play defense and get the ball back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm, and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. He's back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Oh, what happened? The credit card didn't save you? The credit card couldn't save you, buddy? Oh, no.